How's it going everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video what I have for you is my rank 1 division rivals squad for this week. You guys seem to love it in week 1. I didn't do it in week 2 because truthfully I forgot. I was just overpowered with the amount of content. I was overloaded. There was a lot of stuff to do. We started the SPC to Glory series which hasn't stopped. I will be bringing that this week as well. It's just been a bit hectic. So I thought we'd go and do our rank 1 division rivals squad for this week. If you guys don't know every week I'll be interchanging it. Go away Jurgen Klopp. Every week I'll be interchanging it and putting a different squad in for every single week and give you guys squad suggestions. This is this week's suggestion and it's a really, really cool suggestion. In terms of price range, uh, I haven't really worked it out fully. Um, I will put it on the screen somewhere when I work it out so you guys can see what the price range for the squad is. Whether it will be now, whether it will be at the end of the squad, I'm not entirely sure. I'll work it out and give you guys a rough estimate. But it's on the more expensive scale. And the reason it's on the more expensive scale is because a lot of people have been telling me, even people that have been doing Road to Glories, Poor Man Road to Glories, etc. Um, a lot of people have been telling me that they've got a lot of coins this year and they find it easy to make coins. And... Just proven on my own road to glory how easy it has been to make coins and pack good plays. I thought I would cater that to the squads that I've been making. Um, on yesterday's video, I had a couple of comments asking me for a half a million coin squad or there or thereabouts. So I thought I'd bring uh, this squad for you guys. If you guys do go in to enjoy this video, be sure to smash a like. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe down below. It's greatly appreciated. Goes a long way to supporting me and helping me grow. And I really much appreciate all the support on the channel. So starting off in goal, we've got a beast from the past. We've actually got Bernard Leno. 3,300 coins for this card. Really decent stats as well. Um, he's six foot three with a traditional saving technique. And uh, he looks like he's got all the right stats in all the right places. Um, kicking seems a little bit low. And kicking seems to be quite good this year. So maybe that might let him down. However, hopefully with the left backs, right backs and CDMs, it won't be too much of an issue. Because uh, this is a really nice squad now. Over at, we'll start off at right back. We'll go with the right back. It is actually Antonio Valencia. Now, uh, Valencia looks like a really good card this year he's been disregarded a lot thanks to his pace downgrade this year and his defending and physical downgrade however i still think it's a really solid looking squad if you look at some of his attributes he's been done dirty with 81 stamina i think that's very unfair 79 strength is also very unfair he seems like he's in peak physical condition at the minute and i think it's unfair to give him 81 stamina however 83 acceleration and 86 sprint speed is very good um 82 stand tackle, 79 slide tackle, and 78 marking is also decent with 83 interceptions. Uh, he's an all-round, a really good-looking card. And high, high work rates on a right back is actually phenomenal. Over at the right side of the back, it's a card that I've been going back to all this time, like all year, pretty much. I've been returning to this card so far. He's my favourite centre back. It's Eric Bailly. He's just a beast. He honestly is just a fantastic centre back. I really do enjoy Bailly. And I find that a lot of big, tall centre backs are donkeys on this game. Davison Sanchez for me is a donkey. Uh, Rudiger for me is a donkey. I hate Rudiger this year. Um, however, Bailly seems really, really good. Now, over at the left centre-back spot, we have got another fantastic centre-back. It is actually untradeable for me. It is Jerome Boateng. Um, he's only played one game for me on this account. However, Boateng is a beast on this game. Uh, he's got really nice stats. The only thing that lets him down is his 69 stamina. I'd recommend putting a decent uh, centre-back on the bench to replace him at the half-time slash 60-70th minute mark because he will start to leave gaps in defence uh, as he gets tied. However, Defending stats are fantastic across the board. 92 in game strength, 81 aggression. He's six foot four as well, which means that he's not going to struggle getting any headers at all. And he's got decent pace, decent vision, decent reactions, decent composure, decent long passing, decent all round card. A left back is a card that I've been told to use all year. This card looks phenomenal and is Roussillon. He's got high medium work rates. He's left footed, but he's got 87 pace, 73 defending, 78 physical, 84 in game stamina, 77 strength, 76 interception, 78 stand tackle and 78 slide tackle. Um, and he seems like a really good card. He's got decent pace, decent jumping, decent stamina, decent strength, decent aggression, decent defending stats as well. And he seems like he'd work really well as a really good sort of overlapping slash tracking back left back. So I thought I'd use him in this team. Now, we'll start off with the right CDM. It is a, it's a player that I think is incredible. He's really cheap, but one of the best cards in this game is Ndidi. He's six foot with medium high work rate. And just look at these stats. 
92 stamina, 90 jumping, only 75 strength, but 85 aggression, 84 interceptions, 84 stand tackle, 83 slide tackle, um, 84 marking, 76 head accuracy. He's actually got a fantastic card. He's not the fastest, but he's not the slowest. He's just always at the right place at the right time. And I love this card to bits. This card is absolutely fantastic this year. Very, very good card. Now over to the left CDM. Um, if I haven't talked to you guys, if you've never like watched a squad builder of mine before, I'm a big fan of balance in squads, and I go for usually a nice tall player along with a nice slight defending slash attacking slash dribbling player. Now this is the nice tall player here. It's actually six foot two Goretzka, high high work rates, 86 stamina, 80 aggression, 70 strength, 83 interceptions, 82 vision, 83 reactions, 81 dribbling, 84 short passing. Incredible stats in my opinion. Very good, well rounded sentiment slash CDM. Just a fantastic card game and I really do like this card. I use him in my Road to Glory squad and genuinely he is phenomenal. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this card. Now, over at the left cam, we have gone and got ourselves James Rodriguez. This card actually looks really solid this year. His stamina does let him down, so I do recommend having a few subs at the ready. However, he's got really good stats. He's got 83 agility, 85 reactions, 87 composure, 86 shot power, 83 finishing, 92 long shots, 90 volleys, 89 short passing, 90 crossing, 89 vision, 89 curve, 83 long passing, Really nice stats, honestly. Great stats across the board. Looks like a really, really solid cam. And I think he'd work really well in this team. Um, I think that his passing, his dribbling is going to work fantastically in feeding the two strikers. And you could probably already guess who one of the strikers is. This card is just absolutely phenomenal. Over at the right cam spot, we have got ourselves one of my favorite cards this year, without a shadow of a doubt, is Roberto Firmino. Um... This guy has been phenomenal for me. 37 games, only 26 goal contributions, but that was before I started to really use him correctly. Um, 90 in-game stamina with 81 jumping, 87 attack positioning, 87 finishing, 81 volleys, 81 balance, 86 reactions, 88 ball control, 87 dribbling, 87 composure. This guy is absolutely phenomenal at cam. He's well-rounded. He's very strong, great at winning the ball, and he's got a great shot, great passing, great dribbling. He's absolutely phenomenal, really Really enjoy this card. It was one of my go-to plays for a long time in my God Squad on this account. I thoroughly enjoy this card and I highly recommend if you guys are looking to buy a cam from the Premier League, go with Firmino because this card is genuinely one of the better cards in the entire league, in the entire game to be honest. He's absolutely phen phenomenal. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this card. Now, over at right striker, we have got ourselves Jamie Vardy. This guy looks insane this year. 86 stamina, 92 aggression, 89 acceleration and 91 sprint speed, 85 finishing, 85 shot power, 82 volleys, 85 attack positioning, 88 reactions, 82 composure. Really nice looking striker this year. Thoroughly, thoroughly like the look of this card. And he's only about 18,000 coins. He looks like a really solid card. And I'm genuinely excited to try him out as well. Hopefully I can pack him on the Road Glory account because that'll be a phenomenal card to try out if you ask me. Very, very nice looking card. And as you probably already guessed, the left striker is my favorite player on the entire game so far, Robert Lewandowski. This guy is unreal. Now, he's only got 78 stamina, but he's got 84 jumping and 84 strength. He's got 91 attack positioning, 91 finishing, 88 shot power, 84 long shots, 89 volleys, 88 penalties, 86 free kick accuracy, only 77 curve, but 86 composure, 85 dribbling, 89 ball control, 90 reactions, 85 heading accuracy. If you guys get the ball on the edge of the area with Lewandowski, timed finesse shots OP. He is phenomenal at time for next shots. Very, very good. Highly recommend him as a striker. And always use him on the left side for those time for next shots because he is unreal. One of my, if not my favorite player this year. Now, in terms of substitutions, I did mention that subs are going to be a big part in this team, and they really are. Subs are a huge part of FIFA 19, if you ask me. Stamina and subs are the two main things you want to look for in a squad. Now, in terms of subs, I've gone with Wilfred Zaha. He's actually a solid card. He's got five-star skills. Not the best stamina, but off the bench, he'll be really good. He's quick, got good dribbling, half decent at shooting as well. And I think he'll just cause absolute mayhem for the opposition defense, especially if they don't make any subs. 
subs there. I think that is definitely worth bringing him on and just causing absolute chaos. Uh, Matic as well for a holding CDM. The reason I've got Matic here is because he just holds the ball really well in CDM. If you're trying to close out a really tight victory, bring on Matic and just try and hold the ball with him. He's phenomenal at that. He's really, really good. He's incredibly strong. He's got great aggression. He's got great stand tackle reaction, short passing, shot power, long passing, everything you need. He's just absolutely phenomenal. Then we've got play of the month Lucas as well because he is, he is the same as Zaha. Will cause absolute mayhem for the opposition defense. Now, I wanted to look at more defenders and who I recommend bringing on in defense. I'm not sure why he wasn't on the uh, on the sub bench, but it is my man Kula Bali. Kula Bali is actually a phenomenal looking card this year. He's not the quickest, however, 94 in game strength, 87 aggression, 81 jumping. He's only six foot two now, no longer six foot six, but he's got 88 interceptions, 88 stand tackle, 91 mark, and 86 slide tackle. I'd bring him on for maybe both in the uh, in the light, late dying stage of the game and I think that he'll do really well for you he'll be fresh legs he'll be really quick he'll be great at getting the ball I think all in all, he'll just be a very good centre-back and a great substitution option. But that is my team and the Rank 1 Division Rivals team for this week. If you guys did enjoy, smash the like down below. Let me know if you want to see more. Give me a price range and I'll bring the video for you guys, of course. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for the support on the channel recently. Greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you lads later.